Hello everyone and welcome back to Hardcore. Today we are going to go on our mining trip and finish off the house. Uh, I actually went ahead and sorted the one chest of stuff we had and we actually had a lot more stuff than I thought we did. We got a lot of organic stuff. But yeah, so I went ahead and sorted all that so now we no longer have a chest up here. Uh, I do want to move these furnaces actually. Oh, I forgot there's a hole under that. Oh, whoops. Alright, so we're going to put these furnaces right here for now. Ooh, that's gonna be annoying. Those there. Put that there. I think actually when we put our uh, super smelters over here, we'll do two single ones, and one will be a blast furnace, and the other will be a regular one. Just because, you know, cooking, cooking ore is quicker and all that. We could actually do three all right next to each other now that I think about it. Have like a, a blast furnace, a smoker, and a co Okay, yeah, we're gonna do that. Uh, I need a piece of cobblestone for that, though. Do I have any cobblestone left? Quite low on cobblestone at the moment. Yeah, I think we'll do it right here. I kind of like the the idea of putting it right here. I'll do like a proper mine shaft at some point, but for now I'm just gonna do a single wide. Like I'll come back and clean it up once we have like an efficiency pickaxe, because digging all this out without efficiency is gonna be a pain. If we give you level 30 by the time we get up top, that'd be great, because then I could enchant some stuff. Because I think we have enough sugar cane grown at this point that we can actually make a full enchanting room. But I need to dig out a basement for that. I do want to add a basement to the house. Oh, hello. Oh, I don't appreciate this. This is like the opposite of what I wanted. That is a, uh, a bad, a bad place that we don't go to, especially early on. Maybe ever, because ravines are death traps in hardcore, and any mode actually, but even more so in hardcore, because even in full netherite, uh, a creeper can one-shot you, as we have since learned. So if you get unlucky and that creeper falls right next to you, you're dead, man. The lap is how you doing? I don't have a water bucket, which is a bad move on my part. But I think I brought, yeah, I brought four raw, uh, cooked iron. So, if we find some water, we'll take it. Boop. My water now. What the, what? Is that the ravine? That seems like it's the ravine. Oh! I had a good hope about that. I had high hopes about this little spot. Okay, there's lava right there I'm gonna get rid of. And I'll do that. Give me diamonds. Or give me death. There we go. Hello. This seems a bit more worth it. Hello. Oh, I just had a mini heart attack. I was not prepared for a creeper. Cool. I am a king. Ooh, my heart's racing a little bit. <laughs> I was not expecting creepers there. Especially three of them. That was also the shock factor. <gasps> There's diamonds of. Okay. I'm not doing this, but the terrain is glitching and I can see the diamonds. So I don't know how to feel about this, so it's like against that corner, okay. I didn't do that. That wasn't me. I also just heard a zombie villager. Alright, that was just really good luck because of the terrain glitching. Okay. I didn't do that. Oh my god. It's an 8 vein. No, I lost one. Alright, let's go on to this side. This is not my fault that this happened, but I'm gonna abuse it, because it's sad. Don't want to see nothing about this in the comments. I didn't do this. Minecraft did this. Minecraft broke itself. Okay, leave me alone. 
And the reason I believe that the terrain glitched out like that is actually because of something they did in the most recent snapshot that we're on, which is they changed the graphical engine around a bit. So I think that might be why it's so bad in this episode. It was it was kind of bad beforehand when you were like flying super fast or rendering a large or you had your render distance super high up, but I haven't seen it like that before, and that was the most perfect place for that to happen. <laughs> like, that's one of those moments you dream about. Alright, I think we need to head back to the surface now. <laughs> now that we're level 30, I think we'll head back to the surface. Hi, Mr. Spider. Wow, okay. You were weak. Almost got three stacks of iron, that's pretty nice. Ah, and uh, hello, you have an enchanted bow, I don't like that. Long live the king! Why did I never light this up? Sometimes I'm the best hardcore player, and sometimes I'm just a blundering idiot. I think I just heard a slime slap. I have lost where I came in from. I have a bunch of torches in front of it. Oh, there it is. What is anything over here? Oh, that scared me. Okay. Dope. All right, let's head back up to the surface, put a roof on the house, and probably call the day, because I'm sure this video is getting rather long. I don't appreciate that it is nighttime out. And it's raining. That's, that's just, yeah. Love it. Wonderful. All right. Oh! Didn't see you there. Oh, I'm on the wrong account. <laughs> so, now that we have a roof on our house, I definitely feel a lot safer being here. Um, I did also go around and put some andesite in the floor just to add a bit of texture variation. I don't know, I kind of liked it. Made me happy to go around and add some texture here and there. I'm going to change this up just a bit. I did end up using half slabs again because it saved a lot of resource for us. But yeah, uh, I, I definitely like the texture. I, I'm pretty happy with the roof. I did change one bit after that time lapse. Um, I changed this little outcropping here. So I did alter it just a bit and I think it looks better because it was a bit like it looked like a bit of a bubble. So I ended up changing it because I didn't. I just wasn't happy with it. But yeah, now I'm pretty happy with this roof. It, it, it'll do. It's a starter house. It's, it's all we really need at this moment. This little roof here is like not the best roof I've ever made, but once again, it's a starter house. It'll do. It'll serve its purpose for now. Probably change it in the future, but I also dug out this area. This is a little basement area that I wanted to add on, and we're going to put our nether portal over here, but right here, which is what I want to do right now, is get us an enchanting table. And I think we have everything for the enchanting table besides the wood for the bookshelves. Yeah, we need to gather some more wood for all the bookshelves, but we have a ton of sugarcane out there and we have all the uh, leather we would ever need somewhere in here. I think it's in organics, isn't it? Yep. There is that. We have a bit of sugarcane there. Uh, we need the obsidian, which is there. And we got a bit of paper here. Uh, also, once again, sorry for the fans in the background. If you hear any, uh, it's hot out. <laughs> Today's a bit nicer, though, so I am able to turn most of them off. Uh, but yeah, so we're gonna sleep, grab the sugar cane, grab some wood, and make an enchanting room, because we need one desperately. And I have a lot more time left for this video than I originally thought, so... We're gonna do that, and then... 
we might light another portal. I don't think we'll go explore the nether. We don't have that much time. But we do have a bit of time left in this video. So, let's get some stuff together. Hello, donkey. I need to name you. I found a name tag on my chest, so we need to name him at some point. Someone leave a comment down below for his name. We'll name the guy. So I know this many books aren't actually necessary for a level 30 enchanted table, but I wanted to do it anyway. Silk Touch is not a bad enchantment. I prefer Fortune though, because then I could go on a mining session in between episodes. So let's find us our lapis and such. I know I have a broken diamond pick in here. Uh, some lapis. What's the, what's up the else? Uh, I need a bow. That gives us that. What about if you get another self touch? I don't need another self touch. Is there a sharpness? Knockback two. Spider, please drop me a piece of spring. Yes, all right. I can I can just grind stone on a single bow over and over, so I don't really care. Watch you drop spring now. No, okay. At least you didn't insult me like that. Oh, I don't trust that. No. Oh. Ah. Ah. I get half decent bow though is the issue. I will. That's wow. That's a baby zombie villager. <laughs> oh, there's a zombie villager right there. Crap! 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 Uh, 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 uh. Where is it? Where is it? Put the put the thing in. Zombie villager right there. I need him. He's all alone. He's all alone. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. I need you under the trees, though, or else you're gonna die. Zombie, no! Zombie, no! No, you, you idiot! You idiot dog! Oh my god! Idiot dog! Oh my god! Idiot dog. Absolute fool dog. Oh my god. And then you're gonna set me on fire, really. Absolute idiot dog. But unfortunately, that's all we have time for in this episode. I'm gonna go on another mining session in between episodes and try to get us some XP to, uh, you know, re enchant this bow and a pickaxe. Uh, yeah, if I enchant anything, it'll be in the next episode. So, yeah, subscribe to catch that. I accidentally broke a torch. Whoops. Uh, let's just, um, that's right. Is it there? Yeah. All right. So, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.